Today I'm going to show you the newest version of my Heigen preset pack for the Hot Tone Ampero. As many of you beautiful ladies may know, I'm offering high gain uh, preset packs for uh, modeling units on the market and um, yeah, if you would like to get one of these, please contact me on Facebook or Messenger or uh, OnlyFans, Instagram, whatever. Link is in the description below. And today I would like to show you uh, the newest version of my pre for the Hot Tone Ampero. So I opened the editor for you here. And um, as always, uh, the preset pack comes with um, presets uh, using your favorite high gain amps. Uh, for example, here the uh, 5150, Mesa Mark 2C Plus, JCM 800, Powerball, Savage 120, Recto Modern, and so on. So, yeah, let me show you a couple of sounds. Played the one uh, which is called DK Recto Modern in the intro. <laughs> Let me turn off the delay. And my approach uh, with this uh, version of the preset pack is to make it um, useful in a live situation when playing direct to front of the house. So I cut it a lot of the low end, which is um, not wanted in a live situation. And also a lot of the harsh, harshness in the top end. And uh, the presets, they share uh, more or less the same um, effects chain here. You can change the order, but uh, usually I'm using the order you're seeing here. And um, currently, as you can see here, I'm using a green drive, tube screamer kind of thing, the recto. Uh, amp model, noise gate, the cap, uh, which is an include cap with the uh, SM57, and um, the other blocks are deactivated as you can see. In some presets the delay is activated. You can try to uh, to activate it and then see if it fits your case. I'm using uh, or I'm experimenting with different delays in this preset pack. So sometimes you will find the uh, stereo delay, like this one, the dual echo. But of course, it depends on what you want to, to do with the delay. If you're playing maybe a slower, uh, ballad y kind of song, maybe this would be. A great choice. There are other presets which come with a shorter delay, like 300 or 500 milliseconds uh, mono delay, with a little bit of modulation for uh, just yeah, shredding leaves. Usually, I don't use that much of a reverb while uh, when playing live, but I'm using the delay for leads. <laughs> And of course, uh, you can try to deactivate the drive block. And then you will get more or less a uh, crunch tone. And um, also here you can see the low and the high cut applied and also the microphone position that is um, varying from preset to or in between the presets. 
<laughs> and also there is a control uh, function on the uh, on the Empire. So if you push that, you are in the same preset, but you will have this beautiful clean tone. And as you can see, then the EQ and the compressor are engaged. And applying Mahali Band Fusion, clean tone was designed for to be used in the neck pickup, the split split humbucker or neck single coil if you have that. But it, I have to say, it sounds also nice with the bridge humbucker here. You can check out the EQ. Maybe you're curious what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, as like I said. A control function, try to, to use this. Uh, most of the presets are set up like that, but in some presets, the uh, control function is doing a little bit of another thing. So, let me show you some of the uh, presets. Here we have the reactive image, it has a little bit more um, notes. Of course, we have the uh, 5150. She does this nice chugging thing. And um, also, I'm using different uh, stunts for different amps. For example, here with the Marshall JCM 800 doesn't have that much gain, so I'm using a stomp box which has more gain. Also, most of the time, I end up with the boss. And here I have a um, Nicely toned with the JCM Sounds nice to me, to be honest. And um, Mesa Mark Trusi Plus. The old uh, Petrucci sound, maybe from the early 2000s. Here I'm using the Vintage Rack Delay for lead. This is the one which I I would use for shred leads. What else? Of course, we have the angles, the power ball, and the seven. And I have to say, they don't have the most realistic uh, amp models in this unit. But um, most of them, they sound pretty good. So you can get a really nice tone. Try these touches out of loud volumes. And 
um, there are also a couple of um, traditional game sounds like the Marshall Plexi. For all you Ingvies out there. Also with a um, old analog style delay in this bed. And some other of these old marshals. Here the jump plexi. Plexi is slightly more saturation. I have to say the Marshall amps they sound really nice in this unit. Um, the other amp models they are okay, you can get really Good tones, but as I said, they are not the most realistic models in the world. But I found the marshes to be very really nice. What else? Uh, nice clean preset with a shimmer reverb, which I like to use for atmospheric songs or parts of songs. And uh, yeah, the effects, as you may know it, um, they are not the best um, effects in the world. This unit has its strongest points in the amp and the cat model, in my opinion. But the delays and the reverbs there are okay. I had a hard time with the choruses, so you would not find that much chorus sounds here. Old Soldano with this um, Megadeth Euthanasia sound. I think they used a uh, custom audio electronic screen, but that sounds pretty similar, in my opinion. This preset was also uh, part of the last version, the previous version of the preset pack. Kind of a uh, uh, grunge chorus, crunch sound. And one of my favorite amps in this unit is a VH4. Great low mids, very harmonic sounding. Great lead amp. Unfortunately, I've never played this amp, the new amp, but I found it to be really nice in most of the body units. Maybe I should get the real amp. What else? Um, yeah, the Freedmans, they're also nice. I think they're kind of marshmallow amps. Very mid range, mid range sounding amp. So, um, 
What else? Well, I think a couple of pieces also have uh, infection gates like flanger here. I think I made one with a phaser also. Don't know if it's engaged, but I think I was choosing the phaser block in one piece. Of Cannot do this effect. And uh, dedicated clean scene. So it's not all high gains. There are also some uh, presets which have cleans or um, some effects engaged, and also the uh, the amps like the uh, Plexi and the JCM800. These patches they don't have uh, the modern high gain sounds. They're made more or less like the 80s high gain sounds, you know, from these amps. So uh, yeah, today I consider that more or less like a well crunch tone or yeah, great rhythm tones. Anyway, um, I think this unit sounds really nice and uh, the fact that it has um, these three effects blocks and also the uh, mic simulation that um, makes it a little bit better um, as far as the software is concerned than uh, the Valiton. Other than that, I think the amps and the effects quality um, is the same like in the Valiton GP200 because they're using the same software as far as I know. Well, this unit is slightly more powerful, so you have you can use more effects at once, and also, yeah, as I said, you have this um, mic simulation here, which is really great. So uh, you don't need the EQ uh, for most of the uh, distorted tones. You can just uh, adjust the tone by moving the microphone or choosing the right microphone here. So, uh, yeah, as I said, please contact me if you would like to get one of these preset packs. It's, um, in my opinion, a really must-have for these these uh, cheaper units. So, uh, they are a little bit hard to tweak, but um, they can sound really great. Also, loud volumes. And, yeah, other than that, subscribe to my channel. See ya.